The joy of every man is to find a safe and conducive place of a ball to rest his head when night quarrels. For members of Agbe Nojifri's three Community Development Association in Agbadokyo, the local council development area, southwest Nigeria, they can't but make the community comfortable for habitation. A very large number of residents of this community are artisans and have gone out to source for their daily bread, making the community looking quite serene and deserted when Lagos Community Update visited during the course of this report. Tony Darlington, the CDA chairman, shares with us his experience when he moved into this area a few years back. Personally, I've moved in here around seven years ago. But then it was bushy. You see houses scantily. Even the roads, they were just like paths. The community is just new. We are trying to develop. The area is, it was purely bush before we came in and we started from the scratch. It was not difficult to site the wooden foot bridge between Agbe Nojefe 3 CDA and the adjoining areas incidentally is in Ogun State. Agbe Nojefe 3 Community Development Association shares boundary with Agbe Nojefe 2 in the south, Alasha CDA on the east, Ogundare in the north and Ayetutu Community in Ogun State. We share this common boundary between this Agbenoje phase 3 and Ayetutu in Ogun State. Before now, there has never been a path for people to move from Ogun State to Lagos State. Even for our people to move from Lagos State to Ogun State. Until after this dredging and the construction of this path. Obviously, the two-year-old community is still in need of public infrastructures to function effectively, but members of Agbe Nojefe 3, through communal effort, has performed beyond expectations in terms of project initiation. Whenever it rains, it's always an, as an awkward situation. Residents have to pack their things to other areas, you know, in order to secure their lives and properties, at times they have to vacate their houses. Right now, as I'm talking to you, you go down there, you see the canal has been dredged. That canal comes all the way from Ogun State, such that when it rains heavily, residents can no longer stay in that vicinity. When it rains, during rainy season like this, we, are, we, we, we don't even leave because we have serious problem. The flood will be entering people's houses. But after the dredging, it reduced drastically. But we still need the government to help us to dredge it deeper so that the flood will pass through. Despite its financial constraints, the CDA constructed culverts to connect some streets and graded roads to make it more motorable. Before now, residents of these areas source for power from generating sites, but with financial contribution from its members, Agbeno Jeffries 3 CDA now have access to electricity from the national grid. We started with this electricity, we started with uh, the wooden poles. From the wooden poles, we are gradually moving into the, the concrete poles. You can see the, the transformers, the little, little transformers that we were able to get. Ordinarily, the NIPP that was supposed to fix transformers and poles for other people. When we approached them, we were told that our community is not in the map. So we took it upon ourselves to procure the ones that we can procure and do other things in order to make sure that our people have light. The road on which I'm standing presently, some years back, three, four years back when we got here, was just a narrow pathway. But as you can see, it's a bit wider that it can contain at least two vehicles at a time. And that was solely done by the community. If you look around, you see the drainage pattern there. That also was the handwork of the community, solely on their own. You look around, you see our electricity. Uh, I can still remember vividly how we bought the wires and how light came about in this community. We are the one who bred this place because of the development. So that is why we did it. Even including the, this place also, we have a market when we are trying to develop even some roads 
This is all what we need. We are the one who did the light by ourselves, even including the poles, everything, and the culverts. As a result of persistent flooding that usually disturbs the community during every downpour, drains were constructed and channeled into this canal. When we noticed that the water master was dumped somewhere there for years, we now approached the uh, operator that is operating the machine. We discussed with him. He now told us the various things that spoiled the water master. We took it up on our own. We repaired the water master. We fueled the water master. We even paid the operator. And he dredged it from this place till the end of our own community. Presently, even this year's uh, rainy season, we didn't know it has come or whether it's still coming or it's about to come. As in, it has been a very pleasant one. Nobody has to go anywhere. Nobody has to. I've not seen anybody running hectares, scatter. Unlike those days when we had to start carrying our things, our luggages, trying to look for where to keep them, trying to look for what to keep our children. Unlike what we used to experience in those days, much more better. The Lagos State Government, under the leadership of Governor Akumi Ambadi, was showered with encomium by residents of this community for deeming it fit to start the construction of the only major road in the area. They are hopeful that the road and completion will help improve the standard of living of the people. I want to use this opportunity to appreciate the state government who has embarked on this project. It has been a great relief, especially all this our road. I have the strong faith that at the end of this project, the environment is going to be much more better. Because right now, as I'm talking to you, you can bust out to the main road from anywhere you like. Before now, our road sees you can is not an easy road to pass. Ogoluwa here is not an easy road to pass. Even Alasso is an apology, so to put it. But as I'm talking to you now, work is going on presently. And from what I am seeing, in few, let, let me put it, months from now, we'll be enjoying the road greatly. I want to use this opportunity to appreciate our governor, Governor Ambody. He has done noble. For him remembering this area, the, the past governments did not, I, I'm not sure they even recognize that there's any place like this. But Governor Ambody, in his wisdom, he has done a lot. Go and look at all our major roads. He's constructing them. He's doing them, dualizing the roads, making every place to be okay. And from what he's doing now, we are, we are enjoying it here. Although the road is not finished, but even at that, you can see the appreciation that even our people, we are, we, 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 in fact, we are appreciating him because even the value of our land have increased because of what Governor Ambode have done. Even we landlords, we appreciate him because right now, I tell you, if I used to collect 2,000 before, <laughs> I'll collect 4,000 now <laughs> because the governor has done it for me. So I want us to appreciate him and give him kudos because he has done noble. And if you're willing to invest in community development projects, Agbenoje Phase 3 Community Development Association seeks your partnership.